What's up, y'all? It's your boy eBay Fight Predictions in the building. This is a very, very special video for me. Uh, this is your Frankie Edgar versus Chris Gutierrez uh, breakdown. Y'all know how I feel about my guy, Frankie. Frankie's one of my favorite fighters of all time, and I'm doing this breakdown. This is probably his last fight ever. Uh, he's fighting Chris Gutierrez, who's a good fighter. Uh, El Guapo, uh, phenomenal leg kicker, uh, and he's a good fighter. He really is. He's solid, uh, has some really good wins. He's beating some tough dudes. Uh, he's lost to some guys, but man, I cannot wait for this fight. Um, Frankie, man, a legend of the sport. Um, you know, lightweight champion when he should have been a bantamweight. He contended uh, for the featherweight title multiple times, and he was a top five bantamweight uh, when he made his uh, debut there. Um, and yeah, it's been it's been an awesome ride, and uh, man, I can't wait for this fight. It's it's, it's kind of pull some tears out my uh, out my eyes but uh no no real story for this fight uh this is the old veteran getting his either swung son uh with a victory or with a loss that's what it comes down to uh and this is for chris gutierrez this is the biggest opportunity biggest matchup biggest ranking opportunity as ever uh to get and um yeah it's a big fight for him either he knocks frankie out or he loses it really comes down to that. But uh, Frankie Edgar comes with a record of 24 and 10. He's fighting at New Jersey, age 41. So that's something to look at. A height of 5'6 and a reach of 68. Uh, Chris Gutierrez is 18 and 3 and 2. He's fighting out of Colorado, age 31. A height of 5'9 and a reach of 67. So Frankie has the reach advantage. Uh, he's actually the shorter guy. Um, Chris, Chris Gutierrez is the taller and younger man by 10 years. Uh, Frankie. 41 at at 135 is not a good look but frankie naturally is a good fighter he, he's an elite fighter in his prime but even right now he's still good uh, his wrestling is good uh, his boxing has always been good the only issue is his, his lack of durability now because he used to be super durable uh and super hard to put out back in the day but uh it just it hasn't been like that He's he's been on a bit of a knockout streak getting getting hurt uh in both his fights but but yeah i mean frankie I like this matchup for him though, because if you look at certain fights with Chris, Chris Gutierrez, he had problems with Cody Durden, uh, and Frankie is one hell of a wrestler, and I love this fight. Uh, but if we look at what Chris Gutierrez has accomplished though, um, he, he's 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 had some good fights, man. He's coming off a really impressive win uh, over um, Donna Bacterell, who had some hype, and he knocked him out in the second round. Beat Felipe Corrales, Andre Yo, Vince Morales destroyed Vince Morales' legs. He did lose to Ronnie Barcelos. He, uh, he has a win over Jimmy Flick. Uh, and, and yeah, I mean, he lost to Timur Valiev. Yes, he has a win over Timur Valiev after that. Before that, uh, has a win over Aaron Phillips. Some good guys, man. Um, and I like this fight for both guys um, in terms of Frankie and Chris, Gut Chris Gutierrez. But the reason why I like it for Chris, uh, you know, just to play devil's advocate, is Chris, he's a good striker. And he has phenomenal leg kicks. Frankie eats leg kicks up like they're nothing sometimes. And and his legs can get compromised. And it, it doesn't matter how good you are uh, or how tough you are. Your legs are going to give up on you. If you go watch that uh, Pedro Munoz fight, Pedro caught Frankie with a lot of leg kicks. And that's something that Chris Gutierrez has to look at. And Chris can hit a little bit. And Frankie obviously has shown a lack of ability to take punches. So that's a good thing for Chris uh, going into this matchup after looking at, at all those matchups. But if we look at a guy like Frankie and what he's accomplished, man, this guy, he's the man. You know, I don't want to hear nothing but respect. You know, he's, he's fought Marlon Vera, you know, fought Corey Sanhagen, lost to those guys. Has went over Pedro Munoz. I thought he lost, but he still had a really good fight against Pedro and made it somewhat competitive, in my humble opinion. I, had it, you, you could say 4-1 uh, Pedro, but it was a competitive 4-1, though. You, you got to give Frankie that. Uh, he did lose to Korean Zombie and Max Holloway, beat Cup Swanson, lost to Brian Ortega, has that win over Yair, Yair Rodriguez at his age, like fine wine, uh, has a win over Jeremy Stevens, uh, lost to Aldo, beat Chad Mendes, Faber, Cup Swanson, BJ Penn, Charles Oliveira, awesome win age like wine wine like as always <laughs> um could talk for a second lost to jose aldo lost to Benson henderson twice i thought the second one uh, whatever i don't care <laughs> like they were pretty close fights um has had those wars against gray maynard beat destroyed bj pan like just uh, the man was awesome bro has a win over tyson griffin jim miller you know if you guys don't know those guys you know but um yeah, he's uh he's he's done everything in his career. He's the OG of the game, a champion 
a guy that's contending for belts in different weight classes. Um, and it's a hard fight for him. But I, like I said before, uh, the ways I see both guys really winning. So Chris Gutierrez, like I said, the leg kicks and the chin of uh, Frankie is there for him to take. Marlon Vera had a lot of success of, you know, defending takedowns near the stretch and tiring Frankie out and then breaking him in the third round and ca catching him with that front kick. Uh, and Chris Gutierrez could do the same. I don't think he's going to catch him with a front kick, but if he can Im impose his will with pressure on Frankie, he might be able to catch a body in the third round. Um, and the leg kicks are there, like I said, about the Pedro Munoz fight. But for Frankie, uh, I saw the Cody Durden fight. Cody was dead to rights, right? But uh, in the last few rounds, but in the first round, Cody got his back and got a 10-8. Frankie does that to you, he'll smash you to death. And Frankie will smash Chris Gutierrez if he gets his back. I know, I, and I mean that with my whole heart. I really, really do. And I think Frankie, wrestling-wise and boxing-wise, can keep up with Chris Gutierrez. If he can just check or catch all those leg kicks that Gutierrez is gonna throw, he should win this fight. Uh, I, I gotta rock with Frankie Edgar by decision. Um, it's his retirement fight. Y'all know me. I'm, I'm a big Frankie fanboy. So, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm praying Frankie gets the W. Uh, I saw his last fight on the live stream and he got knocked out. So hopefully it doesn't happen again, but, uh, we're rooted for Frankie here. Let's go, Frankie. Um, and yeah, man, the answer will rise again and he'll give us the right answer. Not the wrong answer like the last two times, but, uh, I think Frankie's going to have a good retirement. I truly, truly believe that. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Let's get this eBay fight prediction nation growing. Hope you guys enjoyed that breakdown. I'm out of here.